Twitch has a new policy that will ban harmful in misinformation spreaders. <laughs> this is the one that I wanted to look at here. Who decides what is considered misinformation? Well, I mean, obviously Twitch does. Twitch does, and they will ban... Th this is basically what they're saying, is that uh, they don't... I don't think they really give a shit about it. I think they're just doing it because it looks bad if there's a bunch of people that are... Um, you know, these are people that are, like, spreading, like, COVID misinformation or just pe things that go against any sort of official narrative. Like, it doesn't matter if it's true or not. Uh, they just don't want to be the place for that. That's what it really comes down to. What about freedom of speech? Isn't that more important? The, the truth is that Twitch is a private company and they don't care. So, like, they don't have to follow freedom of speech. Now, what do I think about this? Harmful misinformation super spreaders. What does this really mean? Like, does this mean that I can't joke around that the Earth is flat? Can I not watch the uh, Flat Gang video for Channel 5? I don't really think so. I think this is just... Like, I don't even... Like, wh when has this ever even happened on Twitch? Like, we've never even had, like... Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, this has never even been an issue. Flat Gang, yeah, Flat Gang. There it is. Yeah, flat is the top of my hat. There it is. <laughs> GGX. I mean, I just don't feel like this has been an issue ever. It, 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 in a way, it kind of comes out of left field because I feel like in a lot of other places like Twitter, like Facebook, etc., there's been a, uh, you know, there, this has been an issue. It's been like a conversation point, etc. But on Twitch, it really has never happened. It's a problem with people spreading Russian propaganda. Yeah, but like, how do you know like that you're spreading Russian propaganda? And, and this is what the real issue is, is that nowadays, this is a huge problem that I have with media nowadays. And as I've said before, I've said this before, I'll say it again. I think the media is the enemy of the people. I, I hate the media. I think mainstream media is disgusting. I, I completely fucking hate them. And I have no respect for them. There are, there are journalists and there are people that work in those companies that try to work hard and they try to do a good job and they try to do good work but i think collectively these companies are a force of ultimate evil right ultimately evil right it produces more harm than good and also the independent media is not any better the independent media in many cases is just more overt with their biases it's you go and you watch something from the Young Turks, or you go and you watch something from The Blaze. I think that's another one. This is a conservative newspaper. Uh, or uh, Infowars or anything like this. The, the, the only difference between something like them and CNN is that they, or Fox, right, is that they don't even pretend to be objective. They're both peddling bullshit. And yeah, probably Infowars peddles more bullshit than CNN does. Of course it does. But they're all peddling bullshit. I don't like any of them, both sides. Well, yeah, because both sides spread in mis misinformation and they care more about uh, giving their, their readers and their audience things that reaffirm their worldview rather than things that are an actual worldview. Yeah, that's what I, yeah, it is both sides. American media is completely corrupted by, by corporatism, by uh, profit-driven capitalism that's done to the uh, most extreme degree. And yes, I, I, I do think it's both sides. I actually do. You see misinformation everywhere. And I'm, I'm tired of reading. I, I hate this shit. Yeah, of course, man. Somebody's a centrist? Yes, I, I am a centrist. I am not a radical extremist that believes in crazy ideas. That's right. Uh, I, I do have some crazy ideas, sure. But for the most part, I'm a pretty even-handed kind of guy. Yeah, I, I am. Uh, I think that the... I also dislike the idea that being a centrist is somehow a pejorative. Yes, I am not an extremist. I think that the only reason it's being used as a pejorative is to shame people that are not extremists into being extremists, and it's being propagated by people who are extremists who think everybody should think like they do. I think it's ridiculous. Look at things realistically, look at things individually, and don't base your worldview off of an ideology, base it off of facts and what's actually happened and data and science and information, and don't just think about what the people do I agree with think about this. Think for yourself. Think for your fucking self. So what do I think about this harmful misinformation super spreaders? I think that this is just, like, I feel like Twitch is, it's almost like Twitch is, this is like if Twitch came out, tomorrow and they said we're gonna have a new policy on satanic sacrifices we don't want them 
Oh, uh, we don't want them. We, you know, like this has been uh, over the years. It's been an issue, and uh, we're tired of it. Enough is enough. We are tired of seeing people sacrificing animals and people to Satan. Please, uh, if you do this on stream, you will get banned. If they came out with a statement like that, it would be just as out of left field as this is, in my opinion. I don't ever really see this. I, I, I really don't. I, I never really see, like, massive misinformation being spread. Like, ha have, have streamers said things that weren't entirely true before? Yeah, of course, but that's what anybody would do. Like, I'm pretty sure that if you ask anybody talking, like, if you, like, anybody who discusses any sort of information at all, and that's also because, like, what's common knowledge changes all the time, too. So, like, I don't think that this is some kind of massive, huge thing that Twitch needs to deal with. I think that, in a way, it's kind of weird that they're even addressing it, because Twitch, in a lot of ways, doesn't have this problem. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it doesn't seem I have left field given all the Twitter misinformation about vaccines and stuff. It's a preemptive measure. But like the vaccines and shit like that, like that's already winding down, man. Like all of that's already winding down. Like people that got, that wanted the vaccine have got it. People that don't want it don't have it. Like, and, and like, I know obviously like in Canada, right? It's still like a big thing with the trucker shit, etc. And I don't want to get into that. Please guys, just because I mentioned it, we don't need to hear your take on it. Um, but like what I'm saying is like, just overall, I feel like this is a, this is a waning problem. Like, it's like, basically, if they had done this last year, I think it would have made more sense. It would have not come out of left field as much. But what I'm saying is, like, now it seems like, you know, we're kind of at the end of the uh, the, the whole COVID stuff, and people are just, uh, you know, moving on from it. That's really what happened. Does that make sense? It's a self-correcting problem? Yeah, it's a self-correcting problem, exactly. And uh, World War Three cured COVID? It, it seems that way, right? People are always going to look for the next thing to get worried about. And uh, misinformation is a growing problem, though. Uh, I think it is, but, like, there's also, like, like, misinformation is a problem, but harmful misinformation is a bigger problem. Like, for example, there are a lot of people that think that the moon landing is fake. Okay? I do not consider thinking that the moon landing is fake as harmful misinformation. I just think it's like, okay, well, you know, uh, this guy's a moron. That's about it. Yeah, it, it doesn't really matter. And, uh, so like harmful misinformation like what am i really whenever i think of what what is what are they thinking about whenever they're talking about harmful misinformation do they have a, a list here uh, about covid vaccines or harmful health information election fraud or other content that undermines the integrity of a civ civic or political process any misinformation promoted by conspiracy networks tied to violence and or promoting violence I, I feel like this is, I mean, obviously this kind of stuff is like obviously really vague. I, I feel like, so you can't say that Trump won the election and you can't say that vaccines uh, don't work, right? Like, okay, that's, that, that's the same as like every other fucking social media network. But like, I feel like they would have banned somebody for that anyway, regardless of this, this rule. And um, promoting, like, any anybody that's promoting violence, I agree with this entirely. Uh, but, you know, other than that, I think it really just depends, right? It's just censorship. I, I think that, like, in a, in a general sense, why the fuck are you talking about COVID vaccines at all on Twitch? Right? Most of the people, this is why I never really talked about the vaccines or about, like, COVID a whole lot, is because I got a C in chemistry. It was AP chemistry. No, nope. all right. A AP chemistry. But it was still a C. I never took another class for chemistry ever again. I don't know anything about virology. I don't know anything about diseases. I don't know anything about viruses. And you know what? I don't care. I don't give a fuck because it's not interesting to me. That's why I got a C in the first place. So that's all it really comes down. That's why I don't talk about it is because I have no knowledge in it. And I, I know that I have such little knowledge that any, any, information that I say is just going to be fucking stupid. That's about it. Yeah, it, it's just, that's it. I have no fucking idea about it. And uh, so hot tub streams, okay, but we can't talk about vaccines. Uh, hot tub streams are okay, but you can't talk about vaccines. Uh, that's not even like, why, 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 you do, why, why we do this? Why we do this? Why we, why we do this, man? Why we do this? All right, let's move on. Yeah, I mean, I don't really, uh, I, th I think that like the logic behind it, right? And I'm not I'm not saying I'm defending this or agreeing with it or, or anything, right? I'm saying the logic behind it is that, like for example, 
what is the meme where it's like the little Pepe with his mouth open with drugs and it says, look what X taught me. And it's like some some streamer, like, uh, you know, look what Greek taught me, look what Miz taught me, look what fucking Soda Pop and Razmon taught me, right? Like, that's a big reason. And so people don't want to, uh, I think Twitch just doesn't want to be liable for, uh, you know, people getting information like that on their stream. That's what it really comes down to. And so uh, that's my best guess. And again, like, I know there's people in chat, I'm reading them, uh, is that they're giving me their opinion on vaccines. I don't know who you're talking to. I I really I I don't know. I'm not sure who who are you talking to? Are you talking to me? Who who are who are you trying to convince here? Like I mean, it just just stop. Nobody cares. It doesn't matter. Your message is going to be like, well, you know what I really think is, you know, it wasn't really quite. Well, the fact is that you know, and well, many countries don't even have it. Ooh. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. It doesn't matter. Just move on. This is the way I look at it, right? Um, so, yeah, I, I feel like this is it, it seems kind of out of left field, as I said before, because I feel like a lot of the covid, uh, pa uh, you know, uh, pandemic and everything is kind of winding down. And I feel like people are just tired of uh, people are tired of living their lives around covid, uh, regardless of if they still should be or not. I think they're just tired of it. And so uh, I, I feel like it's kind of weird to have something like this happen now. Considering that, you know, as I said, it, it's people are not really as focused on it now as they were before. Now they're talking more about like, you know, World War Three, right? As we talked about before. So um, it, it is kind of weird. Yeah, it's a pointless conflict. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, who decides what's misinformation? I'll read a few of the comments. and I want to move on and uh, read the next thing. Uh, Sony about to switch to YouTube. Um, I, I don't remember really what that was. I... I I feel like somebody, and this is really the thing, right, is that I feel like the best advice that I can give any content creator is to just simply don't talk about things that you don't know about a lot. Just don't talk about it. It's the same thing that, like, I said with, like, the Ukraine thing, the Ukraine and, uh, and Russia thing. I don't speak Ukrainian. I don't speak Russian. I've never been to either country. I don't understand their culture at all. To be honest with you, I could maybe find Ukraine on a map. That's my that's that that's where I'm at. I do not give a shit. And the fact is, it's not even that I don't care. It's that I don't know. And I never have given a shit before now. Like now, I, to be fair, I do care now. But like before, I didn't. So that's the way I look at it. Yikes. Well, the thing is, like, I mean, everybody's got, I mean, I've got to remember who that NPC is in Final Fantasy that you talk to that, you know, there's in that dungeon, there's like level 30 dungeon. I can't think about where, where a country is on the map. I've got to think about the NPC in Final Fantasy, right? And so, like, listen, I, I know obviously other stuff, but yeah, I'm just not, I, I'm not really that interested in world politics. I'm just not. It's not something that interests me. It's not something I really care about. Uh, that's all there is to it. Careful, bro. There's nothing to be careful about. I just, it's not something that interests me. It's not something that I get involved in. And because of that, I don't really talk about it that much. Like, I, it's the same thing with, like, you know, the Zeppelin thing. Like, is Russia wrong? Like, I don't know. It seems like it. But, like, I don't really, I don't know everything. I don't know what's going on. Who the fuck knows, man? Like, I just, the only thing that I'm going to say and be sure of is that I don't want a fucking war. I don't want a fucking war. I, I don't want to see people get blown up. I don't want to see military escalation. And I don't want to have my money spent on that. Right? That's what it comes down to. That's the same thing I said back in like 10 years ago with the fucking Iraq shit. And it's the same thing that I think now. So that's it. You're fine. I know that I'm fine because I know what I'm saying is that this is the opinion I think of most people. The opinion of most people is that... They just want to go about their lives normally and not have it be interrupted. And that's the reason why the Ukrainians are pissed that Russia's fucking with them. That's why uh, there are Russians that are upset that they're getting sanctioned. That's why Americans are upset that something's happening. That's why Canadians are upset that like the government's making them do like that trucker shit. Like it, it, everybody just wants to be left the fuck alone and they just want to be able to go about their life. That's what the average person wants. That's what I think 90% of people want. Let them do what they want to do, and that's it. That's all it comes down to. And so, uh, no sanctions when in Iraq? I'm not gonna, and this is the thing. I, I literally, I literally don't care. I, this doesn't have anything to do with me. I, 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 I can't, I can't change this. I can't do anything. There's just, like, I, 
I, I have no power. You have no power here. I have no power here. I can't do anything, guys. I'm so sorry. But I can't go over there and just, you know, can we bring Putin on all craft and we'll just set him straight? I wish it was that fucking easy. But I can't. I can't do anything. And so, you know what I do? I try not to sit around and talk about it a whole lot. Obviously, when it was like big news, I showed a couple of clips that I felt were relevant. I gave my opinion on it. And uh, some people disagreed. Most people didn't. And the only real opinion that I had was just don't harass random Russians. That's the only thing that I really said. And I believe in that. Don't just randomly harass people from Russia just because their government did something. Uh, I think it sucks for people. It's like we've had the, the you know, countries done that before. And it, it's just awful. So that's the way I feel about it. You can't let people do whatever they want because then we'll have anarchy. But, but it's not about letting them. See, letting them implies that you have power. You don't have power. You can't do anything. Like, I can't do anything to stop it. That's all it comes down to. And so, yeah, have you considered putting the, the flag on your Twitter? Yeah, I've also considered uh, typing thoughts and prayers. Uh, I don't really feel like this is useful or, uh, or, or anything. Uh, let's see here. It, uh, it's saying about vaccines. Let's see. What's this? Goodbye, Greek. <laughs> um, I, I don't know how infrared shell uh, isn't banned. He's suspending Kremlin propaganda over the war in Ukraine. Even a text of uh, Vladimir Putin is good on his streams recently. Yeah, I mean, that's weird. Like, th this is... Th that is definitely weird. And this is, like, this is what I think happens, is that... Like, I'll talk about this as an abstract. Like, please, oh, like, let's not get into the, the details here. Uh, this is just something that I think happens. Is that a person like this? Is Infrared Show? Is he a, uh, is he from Russia? Uh, I, I'm guessing that he is, but I don't know. No, he's not? Well, then why is he, why? Like, who cares? I, I don't understand. Like, yeah, it's just, it, it's crazy. And, like, this is the, uh, the kind of stuff that I, I have to deal with, right? And this is this is the issue of being a streamer, is that you have people that will come into your stream and uh, people get really upset that I don't really talk about and use my platform to talk about something that I'm not educated in. And they're going to unfollow me and, and get mad at me because I don't do something or talk about something that I, I'm not educated in. I, I, I'm not talking about it because I don't understand it. It's not because I don't agree. It's because I don't understand it. And in my opinion, it's better to have people, it's better to just shut the fuck up and let the people that know what they're talking about talk about it rather than just randomly add your voice in there and be completely fucking uh, un, uh, uh, uneducated about it. That's what I try to do. Yeah, I just shut the fuck up. And I let the people who know what they're talking about talk about it. Uh, Hassan Ben went, yeah, this is just, again, I'm not going to get through it. But yeah, that's basically the way I feel about the harmful misinformation stuff.